2020. <laughs> um, no, it's just uh, it's, it's very exciting to be back here in uh, nation's uh, heat nation and uh, be able to be back in the American Airlines Arena, play in front of that uh, home crowd, and uh, you know, just thankful that I got you know, drafted by Tino Mobley and the Power Team, and uh, you know, no no cap for. 20, 20 years, and um, when I didn't get picked up, I just, I got uh, contacted by Cat and was able to be picked up in the fourth pick, and uh, you know, it was a great fit. Uh, the guys are playing a very, very high level basketball, and um, you know, like, like Coach said, the Trilogy is a tough team, and they're going to try to beat us on ring night. I don't know about that. And this is James with Basketball Vines. I know you've been in the league for quite some time and you've played against a lot of big, tough guys. Out there today, definitely got physical. How would you compare today's game with the normal NBA game? I mean, it's right there neck and neck, man. I mean, even though, you know, we're a little bit older in our, in our age, it still doesn't matter. I'm, you know, Al Harrington, that's, that's a bucket getter. You know, he's a big physical force down there and he's very skilled offensively. I mean, it's hard to, you know, stop him every time. But it's, it's physical, it's a lot of contact, and uh, you know, I don't mind it, I don't like it. But uh, as a comparison, it's right there neck and neck. Right? Let me say something about uh, Birdman. You watch the game, there were times that he was on Harrington, there was times that he was on Rashad Mercantz, there was times he was on James White. That's the beauty of this man's game. He could play any position at any time. We have 100% confidence in him. And he's the ultimate teammate. Guys want to play with this guy, and we're lucky to have him. <laughs> this dude is a favorite everywhere. Uh, my kids love him more than they love me. Uh, I was told once before, man, never outshine the master. <laughs> we'll leave it at that, man. I, I just, I'm just very thankful that I'm still being able to play, especially after that injury that I had, and to be back here in, in Florida. You know, performing in front of everybody and, you know, the na heat nation, I say, because I'm a lifer. So, you know, being a part of the power team and, and being out down here and playing in front of everybody is it's a great, great experience, a great feeling. And I'm going to say one last thing about Chris because it's his press conference. We've been starting, we've had a, a good run to start this season, and we were three and one. And it was Chris after the last game that sent a message to all of us and said, big baby should start. I, I would feel better, you know, coming off the bench and giving that energy. I don't know how many players would text their, their teammates and their coach. I mean, you, you have to have some swag and some ego to play this game. I was so impressed with his, just again, it's who he is. He just wants to win. And it's, it doesn't have to be about him. I wasn't going to make that change. Thank you. No problem. You know, it's, it's about the team. It's about the camaraderie and being able to come forward and have that communication. Because if you don't have that communication, it causes friction, it causes problems, and could eventually cause turmoil to where your team's not winning. And, you know, I've been known to come off the bench with energy and. <laughs> I, I'm trying not to cuss <laughs> as much as I usually do, but you know I'm just I'm just a, a game changer. So I like to come off the bench and be a game changer. And starting the game, I felt I'd just come out a little too slow trying to figure it out. But whenever I come off the bench, I know I'm I'm more comfortable and uh, more of a threat. So come off the bench. But don't interrupt me again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you finished? Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Thank you. Great to be here.